Well, we got a half hour to go. Hello, Nitro. Speaking of Nitro, seafood guy, holy roller lady. Hey, hey. Hey, how's it going? Pecan oil, sunflower oil, and virgin olive oil. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, new vendors. Gracious. Pilgrim bread guy. Leader. Kabacha. No, she's selling the oysicles today. I see. Pasta and pie. Crepe guy, he's setting up. Be some crepes in a few minutes. We're ready. Vegetable girls over here. You got plenty of figs and big grapes. Scuppernons, I think. Micro green guy. The fig jam. And the best of it. The best of it is going on the grill right now. Followed by the eggs in a little bit. <laughs> Snacks. More veggies. This is like one of the founding vendors here 13 years ago. We go up here and look at these car pumpkins that she does every year. They're pretty cool, ain't they? How you doing today? That's it, they're living in, except for the other people over in the other field. Well, we haven't seen Gateau this morning though. We better check him out, because he got a lot of stuff today. He got key lime pies. We got your pies, baby. Cherry pies. His knives cut our pies. <laughs> <laughs> you call these things, what do you call these? Just little pies? Yep, mini, mini pies. No, oh, that's what I'm thinking about the bear claws. <laughs> bear claws. I can't never remember that. ones for breakfast too. Oh yeah, and homemade pimento. What we got over here. Uh oh. <laughs> Tomato pie. This supposedly. I'm getting hungry already. Ten thirty now. We just finished up those thirteen. But look at this. It looks bleak. But the sun is shining right now. It's beautiful. I just hope it holds. Well, we're home from the market. Have a book.
Jack and the Indians said, come outside. It's too early. The market ended up being a ripper plus 11. The gig master called me last night. Two houses down here to the right is a, a rental. What do you call that thing? Airbnb. Airbnb. A guy owns a house and has a big mother-in-law suite on the back, so he started renting it out. But anyway, the guy who was renting it out, he was on the beach yesterday, and his son somehow pulled his ring off his finger and threw it in the threw it in the, in the bay, right by the ramp. The gig he he called gig on this ring finders thing, and gig couldn't go. And I had the farmers market this morning, I couldn't go. So the gig called Denny, and Denny came over this morning and said it took about five minutes and he found it. Got $60 reward. Guess what it was? A tungsten taquito. Yeah, we just come back from the store too, getting some stuff for tomorrow. We're having a little family doodad tomorrow. Hamburgers and I don't know what all. Key lime pie, I know that. What do you think, boo boo? You big boo boo. If I still got the picture, I'll put Boo Boo on the first time Boo Boo's ever been on the back of the chair with Chris. Thursday night. Oh, there's my Indian. Look at that Indian. We saw a cool dog at the market today. We found a, it was a Corgi and a Australian Shepherd mix. That's pretty cool. That was a pretty cool looking dog. Now, uh, this right here, his news came in the mail. That, my friend, is a uh, what do you call that thing? It's a heart monitor. Heart monitor. I went to the doctor two weeks ago and he says, You know, your heart kind of sounds funny. So he did an AKG and he said, Oh, AFib, I think. So he sent me to a cardiologist last week, and the cardiologist said, yeah, hey, that's what you got. I'm going to get you a heart monitor unless you wear it for two weeks. Well, that was that was a week ago yesterday. Finally came in the mail today. I thought it was a knife. I didn't know what it was. Apparently, AFib is a common problem with a lot of people when they get old. But anyway... We'll see how that goes. Wear it, I think, for two weeks, I think. Denny had one, and my buddy, you know, Eddie, the firefighter, he had one. I guess I got to have one now. <laughs> Good gracious. I'll get back to you. I'm going to share it with you. That's the stuff to make the key lime pie with right there for tomorrow. But this is the first time I've ever seen this. We get regular milk, whole milk at the store. And this is, well, I don't tell you what it is. It tells you up here, it's yellow milk. All natural golden milk. I'm sorry, not yellow, golden. i never seen golden milk in my whole lifetime till today. I'm getting ready to crack it open and see what it says. I had taste. It says shake well before using. It's, it's, it looks like eggnog. Yeah, but you see the directions. I mean, read the ingredients. I don't see where the ingredients. You take a magnifying glass to read the ingredients. Exactly. Whole milk, sugar, cream, non-fat milk, egg yolks, water, turmeric, ground ginger. Ground cinnamon, ground cardamom, dextrose, and that's about it. It's thick like eggnog. It's odd tasting, but it's sweet. Sugar. 
It's good. She says it's good. It's about 6.30 in the morning or so, and uh, Roman here lost his ring, his grandson, pulled it off his finger right before dark last night, and it's been sitting in the bay all night. So uh, Gigmaster calls me, says, hey, can you help this guy out? And I said, sure. So I contact him. I meet up with him this morning, and I guess less than five minutes, the ring is back on his finger. He's leaving at 10, so he's happy, and I'm yes, happy. Look at that ring. That's a happy guy. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Very All right. Much. Thank you. Tungsten carbide. Good job, Mr. Denny. I like it. Plus, he got uh, 60 clams for a reward. That ain't bad. I'm here tonight as we return from the beach having dinner. Look at them clouds. Gracious me. Dark and ominous. Look at that big fat one right there. No, shut up. If something I had to share with you, but old timers has got me, and I can't remember what it was right this minute. I'll get to it in a minute when I get home. I guess I hope.